a very wonderful day for me. Your Excellency, yes, some um, is a one week. C O N G S S R O S Life Bencher Governor River State. They will meet us something. They should put PSS dagger. They will complete. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, our sister, Epalibo Harry Banigo, PSS ROS. The South South Zona Chairman of PDP, and my colleague when I was chairman of the same party, my brother Dan Obi, chairman of Rivers State Council of Elders, our own chief, Palarabra, former speaker, Federal House of Representatives, my brother, His Excellency Chief Budum, Chairman of PDP River State, Commission of Works, Chairman of Emoha Local Government, Honorable Lloyd. Lloyd, next time anybody wants to fight with uh, Yesom, they should try to find out from me. Okay? You know, Rivers must pay compensation to Boy State for removing their governor. Sergeant, I will say you, you, you will advise your governor. He said I was fighting you. I was just defending myself. <laughs> My brother, the former attorney general, minister of justice, barrister Anduke, S.E.N., our traditional fathers, stakeholders of River State, and chairman of MCC, my dear brothers and sisters, are great women. Ndine unukao. Ndine mekao. With me here for this unforgettable experience, uh, former minister of culture and tourism, and former ambassador, His Excellency Ambassador Frank Ubuewu, the former Speaker of the State House of Assembly and the former Attorney General of our State, Baris Togosti Wankwego, and former Member of National Assembly and the Chairman of Others Council of Ebony State, Engineer Benoka. Your Excellency, let me commend you very, very highly for inviting me when we talk about a nationalist, a man that is building bridges for the unity of this country, he should be very kind to you. Even before the people you were fighting everybody for betrayed you, you've been you know, inviting traditional rulers, stakeholders, across party lines to come to River State. You're a man with a lion heart and you're a man with the grace of God. One thing people do not know is that because of your heart, God is with you in all your fight. You've never picked a fight for yourself. It has always been for people. I remember when you were in 2019, I believe, yes. You were fighting for somebody. Somebody that drew the first dagger against you. And you picked water, even with me. I, I say, Your Excellency, the South East will support your candidate. You did not believe. And when you narrowly lost that election, you know, for the guy, you were very angry with everybody. And uh, you insisted the conviction should hold in River State. That's the kind of man in you. You have no reservation in supporting other people. You never fought for yourself. Mm -hmm. 
You see, you said something that Nigerians must take very seriously. Politics must be about the interest of your people. But you're making mistakes in this country. When people mount, you know, stages of, uh, you know, talk, cheap talk, they deceive people. People do not know it's all about themselves. But your politics has been about your people. It has been about reverse people. So I want to thank you very highly for inviting us to be part of this history. A great history that in centuries to come, your name will continue to resonate in this great state of rivers. You see, God is with you and with me. Otherwise, before you realize that, you know, you were making mistake, it's because I have the grace of God. And rivers and Ebony, we have a lot in common, not in terms of money, don't mistake in that, or in terms of uh, the volume of projects. But I have a sincere heart towards our people. You see, when I came here, I saw the theme of, uh, you know, your successor, which is, of course, anchored by you, consolidation. Frank Obwe said, only somebody like Nwika and you can talk about consolidation. You can't consolidate on what you have not done. And ours is consolidation and continuity. And I saw your budget today is also consolidation and continuity. I commend you very highly. You have a deputy governorship candidate in a woman. I had to imitate you. And today, for the first time in Ebony, we have a deputy governorship candidate in Ebony State. Don't worry yourself. You know, my people in their proverb used to say that the fowl says that it's him that chews water that knows that life is difficult. I'm an engineer. I know the water project, and I know what you have done here. I will not be part of any campaign here other than presidential campaign. So I will not come. You will not see me. Okay? You will not see me. You know, when people talk about stomach infrastructure in this country, they should come to reverse to understand the model. You can't talk about stomach infrastructure without projects, without infrastructure. Because you are doing three things. You are giving life to the people by the reason of these projects. Number two, you are raising people away from politics, chronic politicians, to businessmen and women. And again, you are teaching people instead of giving them fish, which they didn't know how it happened. You are teaching them how to catch fish. This is proper stomach infrastructure. I commend you very, very highly. Your infrastructure is second to none. And the quality, Your Excellency, I'm a fellow of the Nigeria Society of Engineers. I'm a fellow of, uh, you know, uh, uh, technologists, engineers in technology. And I can talk about projects. You know, one day you were harassing me that uh, Bejas, you know, and the class of Beja are the people doing your work. I reminded you that there is no Beja engineer that has my qualification. I'm a fellow. I'm a live bencher in the in, 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 in Korean. So I want to thank you very strongly for what you are doing in River State. Is it environment? I saw your, your commissioner of environment. I took our time to, you know, thank him very much. The Commissioner for Works is doing excellent work, but I will not commend him very much because he wants to prove that the Governor of River State is more handsome than the Governor of Ebony. He went and took my worst picture and put it over there. So, Commissioner, you have to be very careful because uh, when we enter our chamber to talk, you will not be there. Next time, when I'm commissioning the second phase of the project, look for a very beautiful picture and put so that there will be no trouble. You know, Your Excellency, you may not know that I'm also an apostle and a deacon. 
When I pulled out of PDP, I didn't pull out of PDP because of you. We've been together. We always plan together. We put secondaries together. You always, you know, uh, 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 conceive the idea. And they would always, you know, sell it to us. But I foresaw today. I foresaw there would be betrayal. I foresaw there wouldn't be equity and justice. And that's why I pulled out. Because for the sake of the unity of this country, we must put the unity of the country. We must have Nigeria before anybody can be president, can be governor, can be this and that. And I want to, you know, thank you very much. Because what you are doing in River State, what you are doing across the nation, is what is giving a lot of hope. That you don't care who is Yoruba, who is Igbo, who is South South, who is uh, Aousa. Everybody to you is one. And it's about the soul of Nigeria. I commend you very, very highly. Thank you very much. You know, those who criticize my father and the president of this country, President Buhari, very proud of him, and I will say it any way, any there. And I want to thank you for appreciating him. Those who say that we have problems, yes, we have problems as a nation. There is no nation that don't have problems. But you say you're a presidential candidate, you're a governor, you can solve the problem. So why are you doing blame games? And these are people that really have nothing to offer. And if you say that the administration of Buhari has done nothing, are all the states not part of the administration of Buhari? Has Rivers not done something? Rivers has performed. So if you take away every other thing, we hold Rivers. But Mr. President has performed. And I join you to thank him. There is no president of this country that ever helped governors the much that President Buhari has helped governors. All hidden for fund. Even when this man removed me, there was fund that uh, I went to the president. I said, sir, this man is fighting me. Why are you releasing it? He said, I'm president of both APC, PDP, and others. I must release the fund to him. I say, God is with this man. Let us review our fight. So I want to thank you for appreciating. And I think this president has done for Niger Delta, which no any other president has done. And when you, out of sincerity of the heart, say, I appreciate the president, it's only those that have devil in their heart. Because the Bible says in the last day, men shall be unthankful. But not like you. When you, you're thankful before God, and man was curated in the image of God, your tank will become full. So I join you to thank, you know, Mr. President. Those in Niger Delta must give an account of all the monies they have collected. You know, in this country, it's very, you know, you, the moment you take on governors or president, people clap for you. But we governors, we take 48% of the federation account. The Niger Delta, they take 13%. You've not quit yourself and you are criticizing another person. You know, the Bible says that when you condemn others, you know, you, when you criticize others, you bring condemnation upon yourself. How could a governor that was four years in APC, I was part of coming here for two days, begging you to allow him run in a, you know, PDP. How could he say that if APC takes over power again, that the country will collapse? I think everybody should remove the locks in his or her eyes before trying to remove others. And you're a good man. Because when I came, you honored me. And uh, our people must know that two of us are very, very close. And I uh, have no qualms that what happened, happened. Mwike is known for that. Many times Mwike have rescued PDP. And let me tell you, if you didn't have somebody like Mwike, when we pulled out, it was going to a max exodus. But the moment he engaged me, every other person became afraid. So he, he, he has saved the soul of PDP for the latter days. 
and the God will still do his work. You know, Your Excellency, when you said, give us the, uh, uh, the, the, the chairman of the party, I, I said, no, it's not just that. We had, you know, a sabacord. You know, all the governors of South came together and said, for the interest of the unity, you know, of this country, let the next president come from South. It doesn't matter where it would come from. And you did not initiate that meeting. It was initiated by, you know, uh, the governor of Undo State, you know, for Southwest, the governor of Delta State for uh, South South, and myself for Southeast, you know, three of us. We were all co chairmen. We initiated it. We didn't tell you. But when we told you, you decided to come and talk to other governors. So there was this, you know, uh, uh, Asaba court. It was in the government house of Delta State. And so nobody else will come to tell anybody any other thing. Because integrity is very important. Integrity is important. And so, uh, uh, Your Excellency, you will never depart from that accord. Because when I missed the Enugu meeting, my people almost killed me. Uh, and said, look, you must stick to the Asaba court. Now, Asaba court, I stand. And I support, you know, the, the, most of the Northern governors who, in their wisdom, and for the interest of this country, came together, you know, and said, look, let the South take the next slot. Even though I thought they were going to support me during the presidential primary. But, uh, you know, I'm very happy that they brought a professional, a man who has track record of performance, you know, another Mr. Project in the person of Asuaji Bola Tinibu Ahmed. So I want to, you know, uh, uh, thank you for that. You know, our country must see wisdom in what you're doing. Your fight is not, you know, personal. You are fighting to keep this country together. And the God is with you. And uh, I want to assure you that I have your back. I have your front. I'm with you. We are united in this. But today, you know those governors you want to, you, you, you removed or you process of removing before you subpoena out. We have formed, you know, G4. You know, that's Governor Winke, myself, Cross River, and the Zafara. There is another G4. And the G5 is hereby expanded to G6. I'm now a member of G6. And Your Excellency, let me tell you something. I, 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 I'm not going to struggle, Chairman, with you. But for deputy, nobody will take it from me. You know? So this integrity group, when you call the meeting, you know, you have to call me. And the many other governors want to be part of this. Because I've seen there is salvation for our country in what we are doing. And so I want to commend you very highly. I want to commend you. You know, here, you're on ground. Many people can occupy social media, but you've occupied River State. You know, so let them occupy social media. You know, anybody who comes here, we see. You know, when they said, when your party people say that they have nominated uh, a replacement for me, I say, no problem. That should be in Facebook. Let the person touch ground in their body. <laughs> and they go see. So here you are 99% 90, in control because of what you are doing for the people. And I want to commend you. And I thank you for not putting any Kobo in Ebony again. In Ebony, I'm also the same way because I have worked. So you don't have any party. PDP is not in Ebony. There is no any other party in Ebony. It's only a PC. And we know they do sentiments. Our votes in Ebony, we go to APC. We go to Asiwaju. This is very important. And you see, Your Excellency, my party APC, we don't need logistics. We've seen you, all the presidential, you know, aspirants, the candidates, they come here, you, you, you're a doer of promise. And when you say, I will give you logistic support, we know you will. But you see, APC, we don't need logistic support. We need votes. <laughs> so we need, we need votes. Just for the presidential one only, please. So when they keep the votes, this is Moha. In the local government, another look where you keep the votes, please. 
like he said in uh, Lagos State, it's the same thing here. You know, all I'm asking is that presidential one. I will not ask what is impossible. So that presidential one, keep it for Asiwaju. And Asiwaju will be coming here to also solicit for votes for his um, presidential aspiration. So I want to thank you. Rivers is working. Rivers is beautiful. The roads are wonderful. The flyovers, you know, God is with you. God will be very, very kind to you. And so, Your Excellency, it is my honor. I don't know where this uh, commissioner, I don't know. We may have to review him. Where is he putting the tape? Uh, <laughs> Have you repented? <laughs> so it's my privilege, undeserved one, you know, and uh, gratitude to God Almighty to be invited to commission the Akbabu Itu Omudoga Egbeda route. This is a beautiful construction. MCC, I commend you. Commissioner, I commend you. And the man with large heart. If the fellow of Nigeria Society of Engineers and life venture of uh, the, 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 the Council of Engineers say that this is beautiful, take it from me. This is beautiful. Thank you very much and God bless you.